Okay, the next artist I want to talk about is Glenn Ligon. Um, so let's delve into the thought-provoking work of Glenn Ligon. He's a contemporary artist whose works um, challenge our perceptions and ignite meaningful conversation about race, about identity, about society, um, and a, a whole scope of very relevant and important topics. He was born in 1960, so he's a little uh, younger than most of the artists we've looked at today, and he is still alive. He's still actively contributing to the art scene, which is great. Um, his impact has been extremely profound, particularly through, um, well, really all, all of his works are quite impactful and profound, but we're going to look at two of them today. And those are this one, which is called Untitled, I Am Man, and another one called Mirror. Um, before I go into those works specifically, I want to understand, I want you to understand a little bit more about his background. He received his Bachelor of Fine Arts from Wesleyan University in 1982, and then he went on to study at the Whitney Museum Independent Study Program. His artistic journey has been characterized by a relentless exploration of language, text, and cultural symbols, um, all of which converge to create powerful statements that resonate deeply with audiences. So one of the things that I think of when I think of Glenn Ligon is the way he uses text in his paintings and his other art forms. So he's really uh, kind of like Jenny Hauser. He's really um, bringing the technical use of text um, to convey visual meaning, uh, not just like literally what the words mean, but he uses text in a really interesting way, which I think is um, demonstrated a little more clearly in the second work we're gonna look at, which is called Mirror. But let's start here with uh, Untitled I Am Man. Um, so this work was created in 1988, and it's considered one of the seminal works by Ligon that draws inspiration from the iconic protest signs carried by African-American sanitation workers during the Memphis sanitation strike of 1968. The phrase, I am a man, emblazoned on these signs, encapsulated the workers' demand for recognition of their humanity and their dignity. In Ligon's reinterpretation, the words are repeated and overlaid, blurring the lines between individual identity and collective struggle. Through this repetition, Ligon amplifies the urgency and universality of the message, inviting viewers to confront issues of race, power, and equality. So he has versions of this where the same phrase is painted over and over again, overlapping. In this particular one, it's very clear and it's more um, directly an interpretation of that protest side. So in this one, I like the way he's taking um, a poster board sign held in a march and a protest and reconstructing it out of what we would consider fine arts materials. So he's really challenging the idea of what art is and what appropriate subjects for art are, which I think is really important and interesting. So he makes an oil and enamel painting on canvas and stretches it and it gets hung in a museum that's taking this kind of artifact from protest and retranslating it into these materials that we more associate with being seen in a museum, which is really interesting and powerful, I think. Um, so, okay, let's look at another one of his works, which is this one, which is Mirror. Um, another one of his works, this is kind of emblematic of a lot of, of the works that he's better known for. So this piece is called Mirror. It was created in 2002. And in this work, he's presenting a large scale mirror that's inscribed with the phrase, Negro sunshine, evoking association with racial stereotypes and societal expectations. And that phrase is just um, repeated over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So it's the actual text of that phrase, but it's layered so much that the ability to read it is lost. So it creates this new kind of sense of meaning. Um, by confronting viewers with their own reflection against this very loaded text, I mean, that's a hard word uh, for me to, to, to say, right? Um, this kind of loaded text, he's presenting it to the viewer on a mirror, printed over and over again. Um, he's really prompting introspection. He's inviting the critical reflection on the ways in which identity is constructed and perceived. Mirror serves as this kind of poignant reminder of the complexities of racial identity and the enduring legacies um, of prejudice and discrimination and how that impacts society as a whole and individuals. 
what sets Lycan apart as an artist is his ability to provoke dialogue and challenge um, challenge societal norms, challenge um, a lot of assumptions. And through his works that we just looked at, we can, we can kind of see how he does that in different ways. They're not just art objects, they're catalysts for conversation and agents of social change. By interrogating language, symbolism, and cultural narratives, Lycan compels us to confront uncomfortable truths and engage in a meaningful dialogue about the pressing issues of our time. Um, so his works really exemplify his profound ability to harness the power of art to confront social injustice and provoke introspection in the viewer. So he's kind of responding to these larger, larger um, systemic societal issues, but also asking us to look inside and, and internalize these ideas and reflect on them, which I think is powerful and important. Through these works, he's inviting us to reckon with the complexities of identity, race, and power, urging us to confront uncomfortable truths and work towards a more just and equitable society. All right, Glenn Lycan. <laughs>